Ignis from Barca. Oh, okay. Good evening, all members. So excited to have you guys with us on this webinar tonight as we will taking the bull by the horns for our new membership management system as well as our new website that we have created along with our panel that I have here with you. And um, yeah, so welcome to tonight. We are excited to showcase this really super and amazing platform that we've put together for you as a member. These are our core systems. And as I've mentioned before, Barca underwent heart surgery to strengthen a heartbeat for our profession. And this is definitely one of those aspects that's gonna take the profession from one level to a whole another level. But before I'm carrying on tonight, I would like to introduce you to our panel tonight. And the panel consists of actually the developers. So these are the real deal guys. In the far bottom, we have Lani Ace from ProfNet, as well as Yulani Pothita, who is from ProfNet. They are the developers for the member management system that we are going to use now. And then below me is Juliet Ball. She is our new website developer. The, the reason why I have the developers with us tonight is so that you can hear it from the horse's mouth as what's been, what's been happening around behind the scenes and how the development process went along from one phase to another phase. Also in terms of what is happening within the systems, how we operate these systems and they're gonna take us for a demo through these systems tonight. So I really hope you guys are comfortable and relaxed at home. I really hope you have a, a cup of hot chocolate in your one hand and maybe popcorn in the other hand. And I really hope you enjoy tonight Tonight is not an educative, educative session. Tonight is just an informative session to teach you, to showcase our new functionalities to our system. And uh, we really hope you enjoy the new system and the new website. Please, uh, if you have any questions, post it in the chat group there. We will follow the chats as we're going along tonight. And we will try and answer all of the questions that we can um, if there's time available for them. And um, yes, guys, let's have a good uh, evening and uh, enjoy the showcase. But before we start, I would like to just thank each and every person that was part of this development team, especially all the board of directors from Barca, the chairpersons, the regional chairs, and everyone who assisted in this process. I really would like to thank you for, for your time, your talent, and your treasure. We know that it's a volunteering aspect for you. So thank you for everything that you've put together. And most importantly, also thank you to our developers um, for the incredible late nights and early mornings that I've put it together to make this amazing project happening. So where do we start? This process is a process that we actually been working on for about three years. Uh, believe it or not, it's three years later. We finally signed off on our new member management system. Um, this process started off a few years ago when we decided as a profession that we need to identify the factors that's gonna take us to a whole nother level. And one of the factors that we identified was the member management system, as well as the website. So yes, we have heard your cry and we have responded to your cry that we do need a new website. And we're so happy and so glad that tonight we can actually showcase the website to you guys. So one of the shortcomings was obviously the member management system and the website. And that's one thing that we started to address. So yes, this is a process, this is a project in making for about three years now. And uh, we signed off the contract with ProfNet about a few months ago, only four or five months ago in January or February, if I'm correct, Lani. Sure. And um, I must say hats off to you guys from ProfNet to pull this major project, huge project off in such a short possible time. So we're really impressed with the quality of your work, the services. We've worked so well with you guys and um, you know, we're excited for the future, for the new developments that's coming up into play. And um, yes, so before we move on to the member management system, <clears throat> I think um, I would like us to start with A to Z. And A to Z is obviously with our dear Juliet here. Juliet is going to share screen uh, the website for us. She will run through the website, show us all the functionalities that there is and what you can look out for. And we will comment as we're going along. Then um, please post in the chat group below. And if you have any questions, please direct the questions to us. 
so we can answer them for you and we will tell you a lot more about the system going forward. What I would like to answer to you guys now tonight is that what you see tonight is phase one. So yes, there is still a lot to come within phase two of this system. Tonight we have what we call the MVP. And I'm gonna ask actually Lani to elaborate a little bit more on the MVP, what we call a minimal viable product. Uh, as we get to the MMS system a bit later after the website, she will explain everything from that point of view. But yes, guys, this is phase one. And yes, there are some glitches, which is quite common when it comes to technology, but we are working on them. And I believe that this system is going to take us to a whole nother level. So yes, let's, uh, let's take the system by the horns and let's make the most of this opportunity that we have here. Great. So off to Juliet. Um, can you share screen for us the, the website and let's start with the website. Um, I think the website is quite incredible. I think we've had such a good response from all the members, also the public. I believe Jules, maybe just correct me, but I think 2,000 views on the first day. Is that correct? That's correct. And we so actually 2, have 5, views on the first day that's between the yeah. members and the public <clears throat> that viewed the website. So that's an incredible <laughs> rating. So we're very pleased about that, uh, that we could showcase not only to the members, but also to the rest of the public uh, of South Africa and also all the other health professionals. Uh, they've been watching us with a close eye for our launch date which was last week um, on the 1st yes, of thanks. July. And, um, they've responded quite well to that. So yes, Jules, let's start with you. Do you manage to share your screen there? I will. Um, thank you so much. Thank you, Bertie. I just have a few words to say. So I'm Juliet Ball. I'm from Cape Town. And I was asked to build the website in, well, asked to quote on the website in 2020. And then I didn't hear anything for quite a while. So I thought, oh, well, it's out the window. And 2021, I got to meet this fantastic team, Natasha and Bertie. And basically, within a few months, we were also able to create this website. Um, I've really enjoyed the process of working with Bertie and Natasha, uh, just because I have a similar ethos, health, well-being, and, you know, the bio you guys the Biokinetics Association of South Africa, it was all about well-being. So it's been quite a fun process for me and I've really enjoyed it. Um, of course, there will be changes and things in the future for the website, which is normal. And we are open to any feedback and appreciate um, feedback. So let's go onto the website. So as you can see, we created a very clean, open feel, um, trying to make it as straightforward as possible with a bright, colorful banner. Um, we've got our homepage, the Biokinetics information, public information, the Bassa Pearls. Oh, sorry, I clicked on that by mistake. We'll go back to the homepage. Um, the ba Bassa Pearls of Wisdom contact page, and we, of course, link directly to the Super Member Management System. So just to run through the basics, as I said, we try to keep a very clean, simple feel and point people to the right spots as quickly and easily as they could get there. So we've created quite a few places to click on two sections. So you can go to the top menu bar. We've also created a sticky menu bar so that someone can always see the navigation. Um, and if you click onto the page anywhere on this page, it'll drop to that section. This is called an anchor menu, and it's quite a nice feature for the website um, with the sticky menu. And so the top links to bioinfo, bio and then this also to that. Um, public info, the same over here. So we just tried to create a simple process just to find everything easily. Um, it feels obviously, sorry for interrupting you there. Um, obviously, it's, it's quite easy for, for the public to... to, to navigate through the system, the new website, uh, whether they want to go to the top tab bar or whether they just want to go to, you know, two options there that you've had with the public uh, bioconetics information and public information. I think that's quite nice because it helps the public, especially um, what the persons who view the website a lot is the public and it helps the public obviously a lot to find uh, what they are looking for a lot more easier. So I think that's well developed there. Thank you, Jules. Very much so. 
Um, and again, we have a link to our public info over here. Um, and then on the right hand side, we actually have this, it's an avatar that hangs with the whole homepage and it links directly to finding a bio. So if anyone's on our homepage and if you hover over it, you see find a bio. So if you are anywhere in the country, you click on that and you get to the MMS page, find a bio, and you can search the database, which the other team will go through. Um, just an introduction video that's linked to our YouTube channel. So, so if you, yeah, sorry. Sorry, Ju Juliet, with that video, um, just maybe scroll back to the video. I don't know if, uh, how many people have seen the video. Is it possible if we can maybe play that video tonight? Is that possible, maybe? I think this video is an incredibly well-designed video. Bioidentics is a proudly South African profession oh, making us world That's leaders and pioneers of an industry responding to the universal need for quality, accessible, cost-effective healthcare serving communities around the world. Derived from the word bio, meaning life, and kinetics, meaning movement, biokinetics means life through movement. The biokinetics profession is passionate about evidence-based practice and the application of exercise in preventative and rehabilitative treatment. We believe in the science of movement and application of physical activity in the management of illness, disease, injury, and sports performance. Your biokineticist is a clinical exercise specialist, recognized and registered with the Health Professions Council of South Africa, and is devoted to improving your physical well-being and quality of life through individualized clinical assessment and the scientific prescription of exercise. Movement and mobility are essential to everyday life, affecting development, learning, communication, work, health, and quality of life. So looking after our bodies is crucial to living a long and healthy life. Biokinetics play a role in several different areas of practice, including the management and prevention of cardiovascular, metabolic, pulmonary, cancer, psychological, neurological, orthopedic, wellness, and sports conditioning aspects. Biokinetics serve people of all ages and populations, from children to pregnant moms, corporate wellness to sporting performance. So whether you are treating an injury, recovering from an operation, building strength for a competition, or just looking to build a stronger, healthier body, Biokinetics is here to help. To find out more or to book an appointment with the registered biokineticist, visit us at biokineticssa.org.za. Oh, that's fantastic. I think uh, that video is a, such a brilliant video. And I just want to add to that is that that video that we created is a uh, it's a video we've done with a professional team and uh, we've used a, a very well-known celeb voiceover. So the voiceover is maybe someone that you might have heard somewhere in movies or in some, some soaps or maybe even some of the adverts that you've seen on TV. Um, so yes, guys, um, this video is, is pretty much for you. So this video, you can go and get the link maybe on YouTube or on our website. You can take the link and you can take send a link to all your doctors, your, your friends, your family, your, your health professionals that you're working with, your, your patients, uh, just to give them a better, better understanding of what biokinetics is and who biokinetics is and where to find biokinetics. So please, that is for you. Take the link and even if you can embed or download the, the video, um, that would be great. I believe we are going to make it available for downloadable um, at a very soon stage. But for now, just use the link it's much easier to, to copy and paste it in your WhatsApp, SMS messages, even in your email, and send that to all your contacts. Um, the more we can get this video out, obviously the more people will understand and know what biokinetics is and who we are as biokineticists. And that is one of our shortcomings we've noticed is one of our weaknesses that we often tend to complain that we people don't know, the public doesn't know who biokineticists are and even the doctors doesn't know who biokineticists are. But now with this video, it's a short video that you can send to all your contacts and uh, to give him a better understanding of who we are as, as a profession and as a biokineticist. So yes, thank you, Jules. You can continue there. Thank you. Um, just an infographic here that we all know and love from the previous website. Um, and then we've just got this social section here, um, which also links to our BASA pills. So that links to a page which everything that's posted, you can go there and download for your practice as well. Um, and to share it as per what Bertie said about the video, you can do the same. 
So we've got our Instagram feed here, our Twitter feed, and then our countdown to the next Bassa Road show. So we will keep yeah, And I think that's quite informative, uh, sorry, Jules, is that um, it's, it's nice and informative for our members and also for the public. Uh, public can actually go and have a look at our Twitter feed and actually see what we've been up to and what we're posting and what we are commenting on. Even on Instagram feed, uh, a lot of our, uh, even with the polls, you can find within the Instagram feed and all the shows that's coming up and the events. So there might be some content there that you can also download and that you can also use within your own social media pages and on your website and send to your patients and even to some of your doctors about who we are and wh what it's all about. Um, even with the Barca Roadshow is coming up, uh, we have countdown there. So the next uh, Roadshow is, is in 43 days. Um, obviously, for those who have seen, we have uh, postponed the KwaZulu-Natal or the Durban Roadshow to the 2nd of October. Um, and um, so the next one will be in the Free State in 43 days time. So you can obviously go there. In the future, you will see all of these events will have some countdown timers, such as the Live Through Movement Conference, to show how many days we are away from the conference and so forth. So yeah, that's very informative. Yeah, well done there, um, Juliet. I think that's greatly done. And here we just have a little information about what a bio is. And again, the same link to find a biokineticist. Um, I think there's, uh, Juliet, maybe, I mean, you, you're, you're really focusing a lot on finding a bio. I don't know if <laughs> this is something you're trying to tell us there. Um, but I kind of mm -hmm. like the features that you're offering there on the website. And that's finding a bio. And I know, Lani, you guys are, have worked very closely with, with this aspect. So maybe while we add it, can we go and find a bio? Is that possible? Let's go and let's go and see if we can find someone, uh, Juliet. And I like it because a public can a public's got basically three choices or options here, or of to go and look for a biokineticist from the website. So I don't know who is there. Maybe go and look for Quibus. I see Quibus is on the chat there. Quibus, Quibus for star. For star, like Quibus for star. Who's on? Did I spell it correctly? Looks like it. Uh, sorry, for that, yeah. That's great. Good, Mr. Stad, are you on the system? I hope you're on the system. I'm watching you. Okay, search and go to the bottom. I have click search. Okay, good. Maybe look for Natasha, Natasha Dili. Maybe search there for Natasha Dili. So yeah, guys, you can obviously search by name. The, the public can go and look for you by practice, interest, uh, treatability. So let's have a look and see who's popping up. Okay, there's a few people. There we go. We've got uh, Natasha Dili. Yeah, there's uh, two practices. And um, it's also taking to the website, so which is quite nice. Some nice information, contact details, and so forth. So yeah, that's very, such a nice, uh, such a nice development there. Um, Jules, just go for me back to the search fun functionality at the top. Uh, Lani, I don't know if you want to add some, some input here. I know you guys are obviously no, the main drivers here. No, for sure. It does look a bit weird where Jules are based, but she's literally in the mountains as we speak. So that's why she's there in the middle of South Africa. Um, what this functionality <laughs> sort of do, does as well is if you register as a biokineticist on the membership platform and you literally enter all your information, um, once a member of the public is looking for a specific biokineticist in an area probably not far from where they live or their, their work address, who's got a special interest in rehabilitation and who tends to do home visits. They can literally narrow it down according to the information that you entered while you were registering so that a patient can sort of match themselves up with the specific type of bio that they require for their specific clinical need. Um, the system will then, because we're integrated with Google Maps, the system will then tell you exactly from the one address, your address, to the bio's address, how far that is. You can click on a button, you can get your directions, and it actually takes you directly to Google Maps. So it's a very, very integrated system, and it's, it's really here to, to put you guys, the biokineticist of South Africa, on the map. Excuse the pun, but that's what it's for. <laughs> Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. And I kind of love the idea there that you have practice interest. So, mm. Juliet, if you click on practice interest, uh, even treatment facility, um, slightly higher. Uh, sorry. Here we are. Yeah. 
So there you can, a patient then can go and look for someone that focuses on, on the nine or 10 fields of biokinetics um, and look for the biokinetics that's specific to them. So it's very important that you tick the right box there. And also with the treatment facility, just below that um, section there, Jules, there's also they can look for biokinesis who do home visits. There's maybe in a gymnasium, maybe at a school, a uh, sports space or step-down facility that's doing telehealth. Uh, and I kind of like that feature that uh, you guys are building there. So yeah, well done to, to, to ProfNet and Extreme Webbing for, for this. Good. And, so um, that's yes. exactly, sorry, that's why it is very important when you register, try and give us as much information as possible. Um, the information isn't ours, it's not ProfNet, it's, it's, it's BASA's, you know, obviously all the sites are poppy compliant. Um, so it's a very safe and secure facility. You'll see you also have to log in with your OTPs, etc. But Yulandi will take us through that. But it is important to try and give us as much information as possible. And when you register, Yulandi will show you, you can select more than one option. You don't just have to, to pick one. So it's a, a system which is very rich in information. Okay, so Clint just asked there is all the information to find a bio from the previous website or the newly added information. So just to inform you, Clint, that the information are stored on the member management system, not on the website. The website is just the front face window, basically. Um, all the information are stored on the member management system. And no, it's not from the previous uh, MMS, we call it. It's only from the new MMS. And... Um, that's why everyone had to re-register again themselves on the new system so we can make sure that we capture all the latest data and information about each biokineticist on the new system there. But right, Jules, an interesting, you. sorry, if I may interrupt, there was an interesting question from Karen. Um, I hope you don't mind me mentioning you by name, Karen Shabraj. She asked, is it possible to add hydrotherapy to the list of interests? So I will run this past Barty and then. And um, because at ProfNet, we've got our own in-house developers, we can definitely get that done if they sign off on it. So thank you very much for that tip. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, uh, from, from my side, uh, Lonnie, you have to go ahead immediately if awesome. you don't have that system. <laughs> we'll it. It. Yes, guys, give us your comments, please. You know, it's very difficult to put a couple of heads together, but if we can take 1,500 brains together and brainstorm around this and come up with comments and ideas, and uh, we can build something a lot more stronger. So please help us also in this process um, to, to strengthen our systems for you as a biokineticist. Good. Um, so Juliet, where are we at? So I think we are pretty much close to the end of the websites. So why joining yeah. Barca? Mm -hmm. there, there you can have a look. There's a couple of benefits of joining. Remember, that's only just a few benefits. Uh, the primary benefit of being a BASA member, remember, is to strengthen the association who acts as the bus driver or the custodians who drives the profession forward. So please, guys, we need your support. If we don't have your support, we weaken and then the profession weakens. So please help us to help you and join the association if you haven't done so yet. Good. Thank you, Jules. And I think the last one is then the students and the interns. I kind of yeah, like this idea. How to become a buyer. A lot of people obviously want to become a biokineticist and I like this development that you've done here for, this, for the future buyers of this country. Tell us a little bit more about this. So it's just basically the information on what you need to do to study to become a bio. So if you click become a bio, it jumps to the next page to our bio info and it jumps down to the section that you need. So it's called an anchor menu and it just drops down to that section on that page. Um, and it just tells you here what you need to do depending on what you would like to study as a student. Oh. And it's also quite nice to see which universities uh, provide the three plus one degree and which universities as the four year degree. And it's quite inf a lot of information also there as to how to become a biokineticist. So that's quite uh, a very nice feature to have in there, especially for, for the for the students, for the scholars at this moment who wants to become biokineticists in the future. And we need them. We want to have as many scholars mm -hmm. applying for biokinetics as It's very as informative. Very good. Well done, Juliet. I think that's uh, such yeah, a nice structure. 
Thank you. I think everyone probably will go through the other pages. I know that we have spent quite a lot of time on the website, but we have the bio info, the public info, the pearls and the contact page. Um, so it has been quite a, a simple website, but I think we've covered a lot of information. So any of your feedback would be fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Gillette. So yes, guys, so please go play around on to the website, um, go and explore the website into detail and then give us your comments and your feedback to the website. So Juliet from Extreme Webbing, uh, thank you so much for your time and effort in developing such an amazing website. I think everyone loves it. We've had only such good reviews about it. And um, yes, so I think now to the core system, which is our new member management system developed by ProfNet, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to hand over to to, the, to the, the, the teacher, the brain behind this aspect uh, in showcasing for us the new member. So Yulani is going to go in and then Yulani is going to uh, go through the processes. Thank you. Thank Yulani. you so much, Bharti. Thank you so much. And thank you for, for having us on your webinar. We feel really, really privileged to be part of this selected group. Um, I think you've had a, a wonderful group of buyers that registered tonight. I think there was over 230 that registered. Hopefully they can all join us. But first of all, from ProfNet, I would just really like to congratulate Barsa for how far you've come over the past couple of months, never mind years. Um, I think you're an association to reckon with. And I think there's a lot of other associations that's looking out what is Barca doing next because you're always coming up with the next big thing and it's not just empty words you actually deliver on your promises so first of all congratulations on your new website congratulations on your new membership platform I think both of both of them looks absolutely superb Jules you did a, an absolute magnificent job there so keep up the good work I think we might come knocking on your door in the future if that's okay with you thank um, you <laughs> Bharti, I think you said, you know, we delivered this membership management system in such a short space of time, but I just have to take my hat off to our in-house developers. Now, I'm not a developer, neither is Yulandi. I'm just the product manager. What do I know? Um, but they did a magnificent job in a very, very short space of time and under very difficult conditions. I mean, if you guys just think about what COVID has done to all of us. I mean, the majority of our office has been closed. People have been working from home. I think over the past five months, we've literally seen the Barca, Barca people, people like Bertie and Natasha and Shanae at head office twice. And I think then that's a lot. So without having any face-to-face -face conversations, going completely digital, having to learn all the technology from you guys' side as well. Thank you for, thank you for your patience. Thank you for putting your trust in us. And um, I literally hope that this relationship can just grow from strength, strength to strength and that we can sort of walk a very long road together with you guys. So, so well done, well done. Ronnie, thank you for, for putting up with all our, uh, <laughs> our perfectionistic uh, board members that we have, but um, you guys handled us quite well and managed us well. So yeah, thank you for that. You but yeah, I wouldn't expect anything less. <laughs> <laughs> No, listen, and we know, like you rightly said, there are still a few kinks that we need to iron out. We are aware of them. Thanks for all the comments that you guys have put in on the chat and the QA. I'm trying to take notes. We are recording this so we can refer back to all of those at a later stage. We will log those tickets and we will make sure that we address it as soon as possible. Um, I'm going to potentially pause there for a second and hand over to my colleague Yulani because I think the proof is in the pudding. We want to show you what we developed and we want to show you functionally how it's working. Now I'm going to interact with Yulandi while she's talking. I might chip in. Yulandi knows me quite well by now. I always do that. Sometimes I've got too much to say. But Yulandi, over to you. Please um, take it away. Thank you, Lani. And it's awesome to actually showcase the system because it's such an awesome system. Um, so what I'm going to start with is I'm going to register as a member so that you can see what it looks like when you go through um, to register. Um, uh, we had a question um, from Corrine and she asked if she can still register. Yes, of course, Corrine, you can register. 
Um, so I'm going to click on register on the website. And like Juliet said, you can also click on the button from the website as well. And Yolandi, that's so obviously for all first time visitors to the website. They're going to go Absolutely. to register and not yes. log in. So even if you even if you have login details from the previous system, um, we're not with the, mm -hmm. old, uh, with the old system. We're with the new system now. So everyone will have to go <laughs> register your first time uh, on the system, not necessarily first time bio, but a first time viewer mm -hmm. to the system. Yes. Yeah, and you will see why you want to register on the system because there is so much benefits on the, on the membership portal as well. So let me quickly register myself here. I'm just going to add in all my details. Um, and you'll see what's actually quite nice is your cell phone number. It's got a flag um, to make it nice, proudly South African. And then you need to select your own password. And please note that when you're adding your password, you can say um, there is guidelines on what your password must consist of. And um, let's quickly do that. And Landy, while you're typing, see what I've... Yes. sorry, perfect. No, that's fine. I'm just going to go back to the cell phone number. There was a question a little bit earlier um, from someone, and sorry, I forgot the name now, who's currently based in Russia and going to Japan. And you said you're struggling with Russia login and you're going to try again in Japan. We look into it on our side as well. So please reach out if you've got any issues. So I've added in my password, I confirmed my password, and you will see a huge red note that says your username will be your email address and your password would, would be what you set it as. So it's actually quite nice because you set your own password, something that you can remember. It's not a generic password that you keep that way all through time. Um, you can change it or you can uh, make it your preferred um, password. And then, of course, you need to accept the terms and conditions. You can also click on the hyperlink terms and conditions to actually read the terms and conditions. Click on that and click on I'm not a robot. And then you will get this pop up that says cause. And Lonnie, can you remember why we get this pop up? It's security reasons. We use two layers. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So that is to stop all the hacking of websites. So it's just a security check if you get all the pictures correct, though. Which is not always that easy. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, so I'm going to click on register. And now I will receive my OTP. Quickly wait for my OTP so your one time pin will come through. Just want to make sure okay. it's going to come through my email. I just quickly want to open up my email. So the one time pin is also a security feature that um, also helps a lot uh, from a public perspective, like Lonnie uh, explained. It almost sounds like uh, this whole system is like Fort Knox. Um, it doesn't look like there's uh, really much of a, a chance for anyone to get into the system, if I'm correct, Yolandi. That's correct. That is correct, um, Barty. To give you an indication, Barty, we built a platform for a big hospital group in South Africa as well, which was recently hacked. And our system sort of integrated with theirs, and they couldn't get into our side of the system. So we feel pretty safe and secure in this environment. I think that's quite a relief for us as members, definitely, Lonnie. Talking about, uh, you guys deal with quite big organizations and, mm. and, and institutions mm. from the sounds of it. Yeah, so we've built over sure, 15 going on 16 of these membership management systems. And it literally ranges from 50 men members to over 1.5 million, I think, is where we're standing now with one of our biggest organizations. Um, we've built one for the Physio Society, for INSTOP, the private practicing arm of the occupational therapists, the Chiropractic Association. A couple of years ago, we did one for HPCSA. Um, sad to say we're not currently busy doing it. That's why, why it's a bit of an issue and a frustration registering. 
and we're currently doing one for SANC as well, the regulatory authority for the South African Nursing Council. So, yeah, we're quite an old hand at, at doing these. <laughs> Looks like you guys try to take over the world anyway. <laughs> try, we try. Yolanda, are you succeeding there? I know very often when you do demos, it's, it's difficult. I'm telling you, today is one of those days. <laughs> I don't think my internet is just like, oh, what is going on? What Not I can do is I can go onto our training site and oh, um, we can actually do it from there. That's all the same It's going to be easier to say, yeah, it's the same thing. So I'm just going to do that quickly for us. The beauty about it's one of the same thing, absolutely. It? It's uh, yeah, the, I mean, the devil's in the detail at the end of the day, and it's Murphy's law that when you do a demo, something sometimes Always. it doesn't work. <laughs> but um, while we wait for you, Lundy, to get set up, I can tell you that the system, Barty, you asked me about what is MVP, so like you said, it's a minimum viable mm -hmm. product. And because we've rolled out so, so many of these, there's obviously your your base system. It's almost like a generic system. And then depending on your client's need, you start adding little bits and pieces. So you've got the, you've got the skeleton, but now do you want um, big muscles? Do you want small muscles? Are you an ectomorph or a mesomorph? Do you want long nails? Do you want short nails? Do you want brown hair or blonde hair, blue eyes, gray eyes, pink neck? You know, that's the little nuances, but the, the skeleton is the MVP. And obviously for Barca, we, we listened to you as clients. We, we heard what you said and we started adding all the niceties. Now, the niceties that you've currently got includes things like your, the find the bio module, um, which we showcased just now. Um, there's numerous member documents that's available. You can do your CPD points allocation. So you can upload your certificates. You can store your certificates electronically. So you don't have to print them out and keep them in a folder and actually start saving some trees in the meantime as well. Um, there's some really funky integrations with one now DUXA Academy, our DUXA Academy of Healthcare, which is an online learning platform. And we've got some exciting news for you with regards to that in phase two, which we will definitely get to. And some of the other functionalities, which um, Yulandi will show. Yulandi, are you ready? Are you just give me an indication there? It will help if I look at my junk email, eh? Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Another functionality, which is a really nice one, is an event management calendar. So any of your CPD events that might be coming up, your AGM, your road shows, it, it's all in one place. And if you need to register for something like that, you just look at this month, you can look at next month, whatever's coming through the rest of the year. And you will find these new and exciting events there. You can click on it. Mm. You can read the description of that event, even register for the event right there and then. So it's like a, like a, like a one-stop shop for you guys. Instead of navigating here, there, and everywhere, you go to your MMS, you log in, and everything is there that you need. Wonderful. Like I said, I talk too much. Yolandi, over to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I've registered. Initially, I got my OTP. I added in my OTP. Sorry, I didn't show that. Show you that. Uh, and then I logged in with the details that I registered with. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I click on login, this is the page that I get my personal details. And you'll see we keep on talking about toolbars at the top where you have all of these added values. But at the moment, you first need to complete your information before you can see view the toolbar. And um, you'll see your status at the top will also say pending until you are um, finished with your registration. So it's a wizard approach and you'll see step one, step two, step three. There are seven steps to actually register uh, on the membership portal. So I'll, uh, I'm just going to complete my personal de details by clicking on the drop downs. And then of course, I'm going to put in a number and then my home address is also going to be my billing address. So I can search for my location here. We are integrated with Google Maps, which makes it very convenient to add in your um, address. So as soon as I click on my selection, it auto completes. And what's actually quite nice about this as well, as soon as I've added in this information, I can select and say, okay, I want my postal address is the same as my home address. I click on my home address and it auto completes it as well. Or if you wish to manually update your details, you can do so. Um, 
your billing address could be something totally different. I want it the same as my postal address, or I can put in a completely different in, um, um, address. Okay, then you've got your contact details. You can select your preferred contact method, very important. Mm. So if you don't want to be spammed by SMS or anything, um, you'd rather choose your email. <clears throat> and note, check your junk email in the beginning because um, it might land there, like my OTP did just now. <laughs> so here you can add in alternative numbers. Um, and then lastly, your education details, your highest tertiary qualification, where did you study, are you a student, professor, doctorate? Um, so I'm going to say I did a bachelor's degree and where did I study? Um, so let's say I studied at the University of Cape Town and of course when I want to go to the next step, I just click on next. And my number is not correct. I think it should be seven numbers, Lani. I'm not sure. Three, three, yeah. Five numbers. Delete one number. Well, no, seven numbers. Yeah, it should be seven numbers. Yeah, I'm fine. That's why I'm not a biokineticist. <laughs> okay, so your second step is your membership option. So now you're going to select your membership type. You are registered. You're an intern, student, or an international member. So I'm going to click on registered. And as soon as I click on the membership type, of course, you will be able to view all your membership benefits. And then you need to select your BASA province. Where are you located? So that I am, am in Gauteng. And then, of course, you will see all your membership benefits, the description, how much it is, um, including that. And then I can go to the next step. And that's obviously very important, Yolandi, apologies, very. is to, to select your province uh, because that's a communication that you will receive. Each yeah. province receives different communication depending on the events and also the roadshows that will go out. So please make sure that you do tick the relevant and the correct province that uh, you live in or you practice in, mm. please. Yeah. That is the very beauty important. of the system because you can send out targeted information um, to a student, to an international member, to a registered bio, and then depending on province, depending on special interest, etc., etc. So, yeah, very spot on. And then you've got your practice management benefits. So, here are quite a lot of plans that you can select from Profnet Plan 1, Plan 2, Plan 3, EasyMet, Profnet Plan 1, 2, and 3 with EasyMet. So, I'm going to select Profnet Plan 3, and you'll see as you select your plans the amounts obviously change the plan price mm -hmm. and the one sort of fee or and you also get different plan benefits according to the plan that you select and this will also determine what you will see on your toolbar so yeah. i'm going to select profit plan three and i'm going to explain to you what you are going to see if you're a profit plan one and plan two member if you haven't selected plan three what toolbar you will see what benefit extra benefits do you have mm. when you are a profit plan three member Yulandi, perhaps just to add to that, um, Profnet plan one that you guys have got, that's our basic plan, but it's got some really functionality, uh, um, functional features, things like your industry news, you could get industry documents, there's human resource documents, you get your patient practice agreements, um, employment contracts, et cetera, et cetera. If you choose plan two, it includes all of plan one and more. Now I'm sounding like Oprah, so, but there's more. So plan two will then start including things like your ICD-10 and your PMB lookups. And um, there's even a healthcare helpline. So if you, you need help with choosing a specific ICD-10 ICD or a PMB, you can literally type a message. And I think we've got an average response time of about eight seconds maximum um, of an actual clinician coming back to you with, a, with an answer or at least some help and guidance. Plan two also involves a really funky website builder, and it's completely for free. You need to build it yourself, but you've got the tools to do it. And then plan three includes plan one and two, but also a preferential point of sale. So if you need a credit card machine in your practice, and then what we call health code index, which is your NAPI, your RPL, your tariff search, 
and literally all funder information of the medical schemes in South Africa. But all that information is in the system and you can read it depending on which plan type you select. Thanks, Yolanda. Absolutely. Okay, step four is your work environment. And these are, it's a, it's a questionnaire. Um, so here you can answer um, a few questions. Um, this will also help um, Barca, help me if I'm completely out of line here, Bertie, but this will also help you to draw up stats draw out stats um, of what the um, answers were here. Yeah, absolutely. That's correct, Yolandi. We've asked these questions because it's given us a, a better indication of where our profession mm -hmm. is lying, and that gives us uh, the assistance to, to, to position our profession better in the future. So with this information that you're ticking here, it's vitally important for us that you're accurate in these details because it does tell us a lot about our profession and will give us an indication whether we are in a position of strength or currently in a position of weakness and where we need to make the adjustments for the future to get ourselves in a better position or in a stronger position. Definitely. Okay, and this is where the ad practice is that everybody was talking about with this find a bio. And this is how, in this step, is how you will basically be added on that find a bio list. Um, so if I want to add a practice, I click on add a practice and also wizard approach. I've got my practice details, my location and my interest in facility. So now you can see how it all ties together to be added onto the find a bio. So I can add in um, a name and I'm just gonna make up a nine. And I'm going to put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. And here, what's actually quite nice here is if I select billing address, it will pull it through from my initial um, personal details um, that I've added in step one. So I don't need to complete or search for it again unless I want to change it. So Very let's say you've got more. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you've got multiple practices, then obviously it's going to work. Um, you will do it manually. Okay, so there I can add it in. And of course, here you can add in your website or Facebook URL um, that will be a, a clickable link on the Finder Bio site. Yes. Okay. It's nice that the system reminds you with those little red pop-ups if you forgot to add some information yes. which is required. It does. So it pins me on that specific location where my practice is and I can click on next and now I can add in my practice interest. And do you see how that all ties together? So I can say, okay, pulmonology, my treatment facility is basically, let's say, our patient. And you can add more female. than one. Absolutely, you can add more than one. So I can add in multiple um, techniques or modalities or treatment facilities or areas of interest. And if I click on OK, there is my practice. I can edit it. I can delete it. If I'm not longer, no longer working there, I can add another practice. And let's move on to the next step. So important information, would you be interested? These are also questions. Um, that you can answer. I'm just quickly going to go through that. Um, it also assists Barty and them with positioning um, Barty itself. Um, let's do that. And then you've got your slider. That is definitely a team and a team. And let's go to next. Right, and then you've got your terms and conditions. So please take time to read through them. Uh, all the light blue, blue um, words is clickable links that will open up the documents for you. So I can say finish and pay now or finish and pay later. And then it's going to give you a pop-up message to say thank you for completing your Barca membership registration or renewal. And now Bert is going to fulfill multiple roles. He's quickly going to accept me as administrator. Um, so that I can log into the system again. So when I want to log off, I'm just going to log off. Why are you so busy with that, Julandi and, and Bertie? Um, sorry for interrupting. 
Guys, we know there are a few issues with the uh, um, invoices um, at the moment. Uh, we're busy sorting it out to try and accommodate you with that. It's no issue whatsoever. The system is working, however. So as long as you let Shane or admin know at Barca that you're trying to go through the system, you're obviously a paid up Barca member. They will mark it in the background exactly what Barty is doing now. But come October, when it's your renewal cycle, you will experience this as if it's a extremely slick and sexy system. So just wait for it. It is just a bit of an issue because we went live with this halfway through your renewal year. So it's a bit of an issue. Just bear with us. We're trying to do our best, but we'll get there, definitely. Batty, I hope you had your admin mm -hmm. hat on there and Yolandi's now a registered a member. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look and see. Let's see. So I'm going to log in again. And then I should, yes, thank you, Bharti. You are very efficient. Such a pleasure, Yolani. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you'll see my stages there at the top. is complete the debit order. Very happy with that. So now I've got access to my toolbars. Um, so then you will see um, from the dashboard, you've got your homepage. Immediately I can download my invoice. I can manage my CPD points if I've added in CPD points and I'll show you where to add that. Then you've got your Twitter feed, you've got your Facebook feed, the same as with the website. So from the membership portal, you also have access to that. You've got your latest news, your make brief Africa, and then um, on your right hand side, you've got your partners. So here it's all clickable links um, yep. that you can click on. So Yulani, what's quite nice about a partner, uh, if you guys have noticed that we have a lot more uh, and a lot new partners that joined us in the last few months. We have really scrambled in the last six months to, to get the best possible partners that will benefit us as a profession. Um, and I uh, definitely advise you guys to please go and have a look at him. You'll see at the top there, uh, apologies Yulani, just scroll back for me to the top. So at the top we have EasyMet and ProfNet. And then we have Trip there. So EasyMet and ProfNet, they are more the practice management solutions with, with Trip being a patient management solution and a platform. So please can have a look at that. Exco is a uniform or kit if you are looking at, at one of them. Uh, Pentomy In is also a practice management system. And then go down to Rehab Guru. Rehab Guru is also new on the system. Rehab Guru is a patient management system for program prescriptions. For clinical program prescriptions, so go and have a look at them. And at all these partners that we have listed here, there are discounted rates that applies to all the BASA members. And Yulandi, as you're scrolling down a bit lower, you guys will also see now recently, we have strengthened our ties with the international borders. And there we will find all the associations that we are associated with, that we have MOUs. Uh, you will see there's Germany. So maybe click on Germany there uh, or Namibia. I cite you up. So or United Kingdom, you'll click on that one, United Kingdom, or let's have a look. So that will take you straight to the page of the Associated International Biokinetics Association. So if you have any questions, if you would like to visit overseas to one of the biokinetics uh, practices abroad, please, there you can go and contact them and get in touch with them and also see what biokinetics is like in other countries. You guys will notice that we have um, strengthen our ties with the UAE, with Germany, with the UK, with New Zealand, with um, Australia, we have with Namibia, Kenya if I'm correct, Zimbabwe. So there are a lot of new biokinetics associations out there in the world. So please go and have a look at them. And if you want to make contact with them, you can go and click on those links and that will take you straight to the, uh, to the Facebook pages and we can make contact with them. So yes, thank you, Yulandi, on that point. Thank you, Bharti. All right, so I'm quickly going to run through this because we're running out of time. So from the My Details, you can um, view, make amendments to your personal details, work, your work environment, exactly like we did with the registration. You can view your invoice history, download your statements, and then the member documents, I think, is quite important. So if I go to member documents, I can download my own membership certificate. A letter of good standing I can also download, um, which is a very, very nice certificate um, that gets downloaded. Um, can you see my certificate coming through? There it is. There it is. So, there's my Balsam membership certificate. It's beautiful. And you can print it. You can download it. 
very convenient. And then, of course, you've got your practice contracts that Lani talked about. So as soon as you go to your practice contract and you, contracts and you select your practice that you've added in the previous step, you will see there is all your policies, employment contracts. And what's very nice about this, if I download an employment contract, um, all my information is already populated on there from my practice as I registered on the membership portal. And I just need to complete the employee details. So it's very, very convenient. Um, I think it's quite yeah. worth, worth looking at uh, one of the plans from ProfNet there yes. that um, they definitely offer a lot of documents and yeah. I like the pre-populated functionality there. It just saves um, you just time. A lot, uh, it saves time and it looks a lot more professional, uh, especially if documents that you pass to your patients. Um, that's, uh, that's yeah. worth looking at. And then change and update your email. You can do it yourself. You don't need a developer to do that. Um, very important, I think, uh, is to add your own uh, CPD points. Um, so you can add the certificate, you can upload your certificate, you can um, upload the ethic points, the general points, which level it is. Um, and then, of course, on your home page, um, you will be able to view it on, in a, on the dial, how much ethics you have, how much general points you have. And there was a question go... from the audience, sorry for interrupting you, Lundy, whether, we, um, whether this pulls through to HPCSA, because we know that HPCSA is a bit of a pain to upload your certificates again there. So we're in talks with the HPCSA to see whether we can integrate all our systems. Um, obviously, we represent quite a few societies and associations, so that will be ideal if you can capture it here and it just pulls straight through to HPCSA, so watch the space. Okay, the other thing that I just want to mention that I know a provider did um, confirm is they added the CPD points on a portal um, and as you can see from the view CPD points section, you can print it and you can also generate the last two years results and send that in uh, to the HPCSA and they accept it. All right, um, then you've got your events. So you've got your calendar view and you've got your list view. So here you can add in, uh, you can go to specific events, click on that event, but very cool functionality is you can add it to your calendar if you wish to attend. So you can add it and you can select which um, uh, mouse program you use and it will add that calendar to um, your email program. And then of course you've got the list view as well. If uh, you'll see there is the list of everything that's upcoming with Embossa. So you'll see there is from the 21st of July, it's very, very busy. And then the documents, very, very important. So there's your ICD-10 documents, Code of Ethics, Vasa Law, CFP Brokers, Discovery Vitality, Ethics, HPCs, A documents, please go and read through that. There's marketing material, marketing documents, um, health awareness days, practice management, COVID-19 and telehealth, very important in this day and age. And then of course, you've got your find a biokineticist, the same as on the website that links through here as well, and your social media pages yeah. here. All right. So just to quickly go back there to the documents, apologies, Yolandi. Yes. Um, guys, please go and have a look at those documents. We have partnered with a company called Blue Connect, and we've sourced about close to 80 documents, additional forms where you can go and have a look at. And those forms are definitely there to strengthen your practice. Administrative point, uh, there's also some staff documents there. There might be some documents from, from the previous site that we've had in the past, but most of those documents we've updated. And also the Poppy Act documents. So please go and have a look at those documents and see that you are compliant with all of those uh, forms and documents that we have there. Those documents are definitely there for you to use, to help you and to make your practice management much easier in your own practice as a practitioner and as a biokineticist. Yolanda, if I may add something, I think you chose a ProfNet plan without the ICD-10s, the NAPI codes and things like that. I did. If not a problem, if I may just quickly share my screen and show the audience what we mean by that as part of the ProfNet plan three. Um, I'm just gonna use a different uh, screen on my side. I just need to find the correct one. Apologies if I'm looking to my left-hand side here. But what you'll see at this stage is our health code index. So 
You can see the top bar there looks exactly the same as what, what Yulani just showed you. But there's one tab, tab there stating coders and funders. And this is where you will find our health code index, nappies, funders file, et cetera, et cetera. Now what health code index is, is your ability to literally search for every single ICD-10 code you can think of. And you can search either by the code or by the description. Um, if I go code and I just need to remember a code, um, let's do something like that. Um, do you other see your screen there? Share your screen, Lonnie. I am sharing. No. You're on, a, you're on a different screen, Can sorry. Can you see it now? There you go. Oh, there we go. Oh, apologies, there mate. You shouted earlier. Same tab <laughs> at the top. I'm under coders and funders and health code index. So you can literally search under that diagnosis search bar for any ICD-10 code. You can search under code. You can search under description. And the intelligence in the system is of such a way that it will actually tell you, do you need a... Um, V, W, X, and Y code that goes with it? Is it uh, a code that only applies to a male or only to a female? So this is really, really rich in information. It tells you whether it's a PMB. It tells you whether it needs to be used in a pair. Um, so very rich in information. You've got your full RPL list here. And again, you can search according to code or description. If I just go, oh, this is for a different um, speciality now, but everything is set up for bio. So you can search, you can get the description. Again, um, all the intelligence is built in behind that. And then the last one there is your tariff search per medical scheme and plan type. So you can go in discover, discovery health, um, uh, core delta saver, whatever this, the, the, the plan type is, and it will give you that exact amount for that specific medical scheme. And you can see there, there's your website builder that I also mentioned a little bit earlier on. But I'm going to leave it there. I'll stop sharing again um, because we have run out of time. And I'm sure Bharti still needs to say a word or two. And so do I. Um, so Bharti, maybe just for one minute back to you. Yeah. So guys, as you've seen the system, we've briefly ran through the system from A to Z. Uh, how to start from the website, uh, where to find all the features and functionalities on the website. And then we moved into the registration process on the new member management system. Please remember that if it's your first visit to the site, you will have to register. We did not import any information from the previous site, uh, member yeah. management system to this one, purely for a reason that we need you to update your latest information. And that is one of the aspects that we really struggle with at the office, Barca office. Um, Pumzile and Shanae battles with bike analysis with the wrong details and often emails comes back or the gifts that we send people are coming back. So please make sure that your details are updated. So yes, guys, this system is definitely there for you to strengthen you as a biokineticist. Mm -hmm. This system, I believe, is going to take us to a whole nother level. It is definitely there for us that we can grow as a profession and grow as an association forward. And um, yes, Lani, as you mentioned, this is step one or phase one yeah. of this project. There is still a lot to come. A lot of bells and whistles will come. So please make sure that you visit the website and the MMS on a regular basis as you will identify new features that will be developed and that will be integrated into the system. All of these features, we will also update you via our email system and also our social media system. So please make sure that you are staying in connection with us from that point of view. I would like to thank you guys. But Lonnie, if I, you if I may me? just quickly say one thing, um, yes, and we ran it. out of time. I completely realize that. The one thing that the buyers have also got access to is EasyMet, your practice management solution. You all know it's intelligent, mobile, and extremely easy to use. I'm not going to go into details, but guys, you can get it at an extremely reduced rate if you become mm. a member of BASA. Both your ProfNet membership and your EasyMet membership has been reduced. So instead of going directly to ProfNet or direct to EasyMet, Go Barca. That is the route that you need to go. And the system is set up that in such a way that you can easily access your ProfNet benefits and EasyMed. And like Barty said, yes, there's big things to come. Phase two, Barty, I don't know if you want to give a little sneak peek, especially with regards to our integration with, with DAXA, what's to come next? Yeah, guys, so many courses that we have part of, of um, uh, experts that we've partnered with. So you can definitely expect a lot of courses coming out in the next phase from DAXA and also from TRIP that will be there. 
uh, from patient management solutions and skills to upskill yourself as a bioanalysis, and also from a practice management, from ethical points that you can earn, from practice management points that you can earn, and upskilling your own practice with. There are a lot of courses that will come out in that development of that second phase. So please look out for that integrated online learning center via DAXA that we have partnered with. And that will come very soon. I can't give you a date as yet, but I know it is around the corner. So please have a look, uh, be on the lookout for that aspect. For sure. Thank you, Lani. No, 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 that's great. great. There's the other one which I know yes. is also very important and that's your provider networks. And guys, we will cater for that. So watch out for that. Yeah, at this moment, if you want to register for the Vitalities, just uh, email the office. And that functionality is on its way at a very soon stage. We know that's very important. So it is a pressing factor at this moment. But apart from that, I think it's an incredible system. Well done to the two developers for Lani and Yulandi and their team from the uh, um, uh, member management system and then also for Juliet Ball from, the, from Extreme Webbing for the website. I think for this sure. is an incredible project and we are super excited about this project that we could launch. We're so excited for the future that lies ahead for all the things that we can actually do with this system that will help us to grow as a profession. From my side, I would like to thank each and every one of you, the panel and in all of the attendees and the viewers. Thank you for your time out tonight here on a Thursday evening. We hope you have a wonderful evening and a wonderful weekend ahead and enjoy and enjoy the new system. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, Bertie. Bye. 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 Bye.